Oh, you're looking at a 2003 Ford F550 XL that um, has a 6.0 diesel. Now, I want to tell you right up front that it does have some damage history uh, from a uh, being hit in the front. So it has some salvage history. Um, but I drove the vehicle a good 300 miles. It drives well. Uh, always starts right up. And uh, I'll show you as we look around it that it uh, sure doesn't look like uh, much damage, though, though I don't know that. Um, the other thing is that damage happened in 2004 with under 10,000 miles. So it has gone, well, 100,000 miles since that happened. Um, let me crank it up here. It was fleet maintained. Has an old chain sticker up top, which we like to see. Starts right up. I didn't pull the hood release. Not rusty, sounds good, has plenty of power. I talked to the previous owner, drives well. It'll drive you home wherever you need to go and then some. You can see up in the front and see in my pictures. Now, it did have a name of a company on the side. A quick way to fix that is just get another magnetic sticker from like Vistaprint or, uh, you know, or get the door painted there. The rails are in good shape. If there's anything I could knock it for, the rear tires, maybe uh, two of them could be replaced. But sure, we'll drive anywhere you need to go. Has a trailer hitch on it. The bed's in nice condition. Looks like it has a spot for a gooseneck there. I'm not sure of that though, or either that or that's a drain hole. Got some straps. Boxes on either side. Look at what these are selling for. Look what a four-wheel drive diesel F550 is selling for. I'm selling it at a reasonable price like I normally do. 113000 is really nothing for a diesel engine. I also talked to the owner, like I said, in 2011, uh, they put a new transmission in it. Oh, I like to hear when they've done some work to something, and it was three or four years ago, you know, it was done right. Came from a small town area. Now, right now, I'm up in Pennsylvania myself. Um, our lot is located in Frankfort, Delaware, which is about 20 miles outside of Ocean City. But uh, this vehicle was kept in a small town in PA. It had a yearly Pennsylvania inspection. It's just nice and clean inside. The seats aren't messed up. Not smoked in, not stinky or anything like that. Rides like a truck, you know, but it is a truck. Plenty of power, get up and go. 
Now I'm driving it back tomorrow to Delaware and I'm going to haul a travel trailer behind it. Um, and it's a perfect vehicle for hauling a trailer if you need to or not, either way. I'll take it up to some speed here. Beautiful stream here. <laughs> well, there's 60 though. It goes down the road nicely. No lights on, all the gauges are good. Four-wheel drive is a nice addition when you have a steak body. Man, there's plenty of power. I'm surprised at the power. What a big hill. Problem to go up that. The owner said he didn't have a lot of problems, just an injector here or there. So, um, quite a workhorse. Well, I'm going to turn around here. So if nobody comes over that corner fast. There we go. Don't have enough hands. There. I didn't overdrive. So there you go, that's the story. Well, I believe it has a clear title. That doesn't mean anything. It has salvage history, so you know that. I, I'll point everything out. I wouldn't try and slide that over anybody, even though this truck's in real good shape. Um, we will offer you a 60-day temporary license tag when you come to pick it up drive in to pick it up or do a one-way car rental we have an enterprise not far from us um, or fly into the Salisbury Maryland airport and we'll pick you up at the airport or take a bus into Ocean City or just get a ride with somebody come down for the weekend stay at the ocean see the beach and boardwalk that's why I live there it's a great place so that's the story on this truck. If you're looking for a workhorse, have a landscaping company or something similar, this is a great truck. It puts up a good look. And um, if it's what you're looking for, you'll like it. So buy this Ford 350, four wheel drive diesel. It does have salvage history but it's a nice running truck. Whatever damage happened a long time ago, and uh, it'll be a good truck for you.